what is up youtube welcome welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be talking about um 20 plus business ideas that you can create or come up with so i have my list ready it's pretty a lot of them so it's obviously more than 20 um because there are a lot of ideas i feel like people focus on one thing um and then everybody else is doing the same thing like come on let's be creative right um i can't say nothing about that though because i did start something that i've seen somewhere else but let's just talk about all the different ideas that there are and that have been created recently because some of these are new um some of them have been going on for you know years if you get started please like and subscribe follow me on all social medias do not forget to subscribe to my other channel which is me doing nails i haven't posted my first video yet but i might today so stay tuned for that or tomorrow um so yeah let's get started all right so the first thing that um i'm gonna say is nails um i started off with this one like this is first on my list because not only can men or women do nails like they can both do it so um nails is one of like a, a big business because it's something that's going to continue it's something that you can grab more customers than like a regular business um well it depends how you do it but if you're really good at it or if you really like doing nails um then that's something that you should consider a business and you should really focus on it and continue to do it um i've been doing nails or been wanting to do nails for quite a while i just never focused myself on it but when i really took it serious i actually liked it and i'm i feel like nails is something that is my happy place when i'm doing nails i distract myself and i just feel good about it so that's why i started to do nails as well i'm not really active on it as well um because i've been busy doing other things but that's going to be my second prior pri my second priority um after my business and youtube channel so yeah you can start doing nails or whatever um if you're doing it on yourself already and you think you can do it somewhere um to someone go ahead mind you these things are not going to be easy you're not going to be good at first practice make perfect so you know i've been practicing practicing and i'm getting better and soon i know i can get even more better so let's move on to the next one the next one will be nail supplies um i do know a lot of people that don't do nails but sell nail supplies so you could do that that could be another business idea that to sell nail supplies and i would recommend because a lot of people are looking for nail supplies especially for the low um i get mine from different businesses and also amazon so you can you can do that you can get brushes acrylic um tissue you know the not the tissue it's something that you use to wipe your brush i forgot what it's called though um monomer different type of things that you can get a vendor to sell to you because that comes from vendors as well um and then you know separate it in different bottles and sell it so that's a second idea third idea would be hair supplies or wigs that is another um business that most people do not do because they don't really know anything about hair now if you're doing hair that's another business that's another business idea start doing hair it could be straightening hair it could be braiding hair it could be um curling hair um you can do all of them at once or you can do each like you can just do oh i only straight hair or oh, i only braid hair you know um you can do you know dyeing hair it's different type of things that's one of the um another business and then the other will be selling the products or um supplies or wigs you know most likely people do wigs um they get really good bundles and girl girl like i don't know how y'all do it but y'all be getting some slick hair <laughs> so trust me you can start off with that um and i guess that will be like the fourth or third no that's the fourth business because i mentioned the other one all right skincare skincare is a little bit um i would say 
tricky and dangerous at the same time because you really have to do your research um i once tried to do skincare and it just did not work out like i i tried it on myself and i broke up broke i broke out i don't know if it was because my skin type but ooh, excuse me guys um it just did not go well i didn't do my most research and i just did not want to play with it at all so i just i just put it away i was like you know what that's not your type of business that you're gonna do so that would be one skincare and a lot of people do like it, it goes well for them but like i said you just really have to do your research you gotta know what ingredients you're using preservatives etc you know that's something that i didn't know so if you're gonna start skincare make sure that you are doing it right um and most likely um people won't start that because skincare is not really a good business to start off with because people are scared or are going to be scared to use your products that's why i didn't really do it because i'm like people are going to be like well, what if i break out this and that you know because you go and buy things at the store and you still break out and you expected the you know items to be good because it's at the store so you know you got to be careful with that but that will be one of the um business ideas next would be um lip gloss so lip gloss is the business that i started i started with just lip gloss clean lip gloss i didn't start with anything else actually i did start with lashes so i started with lashes and lip gloss you can start off with both or you can start off with them separate so i started with um you know making little lip gloss people here and there were buying it at school you know because it was not sticky at that time it's like people were looking for um at the time when i was doing lip gloss People were looking for lip gloss that wasn't as sticky, you know, because all the lip glosses saw that the stores were just sticky. People would still put it on, but not a lot of people would like them. That's me. So, oh, that's what um, I was, yeah, you guys. And, like, that's what I was started off. Um, making lip gloss is pretty easy, and the ingredients are, like, listed. So, it's like, you don't, you're not going to mess up, and nobody's going to break out off of your product. Um, so, it's like, you know, that's an easy step. Um... Moving on to the next will be lashes. Um, like I said, I was selling them together. So you can sell them together or just have a lash store. Lashes are going to continue um, as well as lip gloss. Lashes will forever be something to continue. Now, the problem is that people prefer mink lashes or... I'm sorry, you guys. My voice is different because... I don't know I woke up with stuffy nose today um but yeah so lashes would be one of them it's just that people prefer like big lashes it depends what type of lashes you have um you're always um you're obviously gonna have to have several like for example natural mink dramatic etc so that will be one of the businesses businesses that you can start off with um one thing I have listed is a little bit of everything, meaning that you can sell everything. Like everything you have, that's, I feel like that's more like my business. I sell a little bit of everything, but I still start, I still stay with the beauty community, if that makes sense, because let's say I'm selling makeup and then all of a sudden I'm selling hair beauty products, you know, that's selling other things. But I'm I'm staying like in the beauty community community, but I'm selling several things like highlighters, lip gloss, lip liners, um, lash um, lashes and eyebrow growth hair serum, um, butters, all that like jewelry. That's all like a bunch of things all together. So a little bit of everything. You can also start doing that. A lot of businesses do do that after a while when they started off with lashes or lip gloss so you can do that as well purses i've seen a lot of businesses where they just sell purses um purses something is obviously going to continue girls love purses you know they had to be cute different designs and all that it had to be trendy so you know you can start a business just selling purses and it is um a little bit more expensive 
so it's gonna be hard so it's gonna be hard um but it, that is one of the things you can start off with the next will be clothes obviously that's something that a lot of people do but you have to be very creative because to catch people's attention by selling clothes is hard because one good quality has to be there two not a lot of people buy things that are just any brand so you know people like nike um and the higher classes like gucci louis vuitton so not a lot of people are gonna buy that just because off of the product quality brand and um the looks of it so if i see that a brand is like it looks very good good quality and it's a little bit expensive i'm gonna buy it if it's good quality and i'll see a lot of people wearing it you know so starting a clothing line it depends on what it is if it's um sports if it's um casual clothes if it's dresses if it's um skirts if it's girls only girls um clothing if it's cl but girl and men it all depends on what it is that you can catch people's attention so you know you got to be careful with that and you got to just do whatever you love whatever you like and your creativity next will be phone cases um i've seen a lot of businesses where they just sell only phone cases or they sell phone cases and other products or you know items so i've seen a lot of people um start you know with phone cases the pens like um the design you know like a lot of people sell different designs or sell designs that are not seen in store which they kind of are now because you know over the time people are going to start to realize and know like where you're getting the products and they're going to start to buy it as well so but be creative with it um i've seen this um business i think it's called trend flags something like that where they only sell things that is off based off your country like flags and all that they start off with their necklaces i actually have one i'm not sure what it where it is um but they also sell phone cases that is only their fla the flags so you can also start with that too um like i said just be creative with it so yeah phone cases will be the one next is hair products i know i mentioned that already but um hair products meaning like let's say if it's for straight hair curly hair um wavy hair you know different types or whatever whether it's if it's to reconstruct your hair like you know make it different a moisturizer a mask you know it, it depends you can also start that too again it's, it is going to be a little bit hard because you got to make your research and you got to make sure that you're using correct ingredients so next will be jewelry jewelry is one of the businesses that i wanted to start but it is a little bit hard because you really have to put your money into it um it is expensive and then you have to put you know expensive prices you know it depends on the jewelry though the quality now they're making jewelry look so real that people like stare at you and they're like damn like is it real like you know so that's because it's waterproof and it doesn't change colors over time you know how it gets green so that's why um jewelry businesses like they're expensive like you're like damn like this is not even real and it's that expensive okay but it is more cheaper than real jewelry so you know you can start that next will be piercings believe it or not but you can start your piercing business you just really have to do your research for that one too you have to be careful you have to practice you know you got to make sure you're doing things um right with the needle you know you're not just putting a needle anywhere you're not just putting a needle um diagonal angle like uh, i mean an angle like you have to put it right so you can start do it, doing that too it depends on the type of person you are if you you know if you really are going to do it or if you get panics when you see people bleeding or something like that you know it all depends on you but you can't start that at home you just really have to be careful um maybe get a license first too because I'm, i believe that's kind of like dangerous because what if you do something wrong to that person's face they're going to sue you 
So, you know, you gotta be careful with that, but make do your research. Um, if anything, go to a shop and work with them first and then do your business. Um, next would be tattoos as well. Too. Tattoos is another one. Again, the same thing. You have to be careful, do your research, get a license, etc. Um, because you do have to do a license for nails, but nails is a little bit easier and less dangerous than tattoos and piercing. Um, but yeah, so you can start tattoos business just a lot of money invested and you have to be careful so next would be makeup um kind of a little bit mentioned already but makeup is different because what i sell is not full on makeup so for example foundations um sponges i did i think i did sell sponges before um but yeah i'm talking about like foundation um primers you know different type of lipsticks matte lipsticks you know all that you can start off with that so that's another business um heels women's shoes so i don't know if you guys have seen a lot of business selling like women just women's shoes um heels flats you know i wish i had some here but um, kind of looking like this like Like, they're slides, but they're very cute. So, you know, something like this is what there is trending right now. Um, this is what they're selling a lot. And these are slides. I had them in my book bag, so don't mind that they're all squished. These are slides, but then, again, like, they're trendy. So, that's something that you can start selling. Um, those businesses are hard because you had to buy several sizes. Ooh. So, it is a lot of money invested. Um, I'm not saying not to do it because it's a lot of money invested. I'm just saying, like, to start off, it's going to be hard, you know? Um, bikinis, bathing suits. Um, that's a business that's a little bit hard because most, um, most states are seasonal. Like, let's say most, some states are summer off all year. But then some states are cold, so not a lot of them are going to have bathing suits, are going to be buying bathing suits. So that's something you can start off with, but it's going to be seasonal. So it depends where you live as well, though. Like, if you live a place where it's always hot, they're obviously going to keep on buying them. But you can't start off with that. Um, you can start off with custom shoes. I've seen a lot of people get um, Air Forces and, like, draw them. So if you have that talent, you can, you know, you can do that. You can start custom you know customing what's it called the shoes um any type of shoes and if you don't know how to dry, uh, dr drive i was gonna say drive if you don't know how to draw then you can just put like any type of material on top of it and call it a day you know it's custom so you can do that um you can do custom t-shirts again like just putting colors um letters on it that's pretty much easy you don't really need any type of talent for that so um you can do that too custom pictures drawings i see a lot of people do that where they draw things and it's custom whether if it's a picture of you a picture of you and your couple i mean your partner um whether it's anything you can start off that too if you have talent um bacon believe it or not but one of the main businesses is food bacon food um other things i don't know what's it called food trucks all that that's a business y'all like that's something that most people don't even think about um because it is a hard business because you really have to work your butt off um when you have an online it's not really you really work a lot um because you're sitting down so you know working like you gotta stand up and cook so but that's one of the businesses that you can start off with bacon the reason why i say bacon is because you can start off with cakes um let's say you live in i don't know you live in new york and you're the best um baker in new york like you make cakes and people would drive hours just to come to you because you make the best cake um that could happen like you could do that um so yeah that's one of the businesses that you can start off with is bacon 
cakes, cookies, etc. Strawberries is another one. Strawberries will be the ones that you like dip the chocolate. Um, there's this girl where I buy it all from them, from her. She makes, oh my God, they're so good too. Like, I want them right now. Um, so yeah, and she sells them. And, um, yeah, like you could just start off with that, like decorating, put like happy birthday, the breakable heart. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that. That's another one. That's a, like, that's the business that you can start off with. So, um, decorating business. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but a decorating business is basically going to people's houses, rentals, weddings, and basically planning their whole thing and decorating it for them. So, um, I'm going to put up a couple of pictures of me, of my graduation party and my sister's birthday, where we had some people decorate, come and decorate, for, decorate from, for us. So, y'all can do the same. Let's say, like, you just become a decorating person. I'm not sure what it's called, though. I know there's a name for it. Um, you can go and decorate it decorate people's houses weddings and all that stuff you know you obviously have to have the materials first for it um but you can make money off that so that's another like side hustle um business that you can create bodegas bodegas is another one um not only not a lot of people in, are interested in that not a lot of people do that it is a lot of money invested but bodega is one of them so like a corner store or whatever start it like if you're really interested go ahead and start it um slushies and shakes are another one you can start like you know how people used to sell lemonade before like they used to stand out and sell lemonade before that's crazy that was years ago um that's that's basically a business and that's basically the same thing it's just that it's slushies and shakes like you can sell it outside do it um have a little like corner house and just do it um candy you can sell candy you can get it in bulk and sell candy um that's that's a business that not a lot of people do but you know you can start it um people just do it at home and tell people to come pick it up it's the same thing as the strawberries like you're doing it but you can tell people to come pick it up or you do deliveries it depends um food restaurant i think i kind of mentioned it but yeah food restaurant will be one of them um obviously it takes time you know you have to have like a, a local and really like have people to work for you cook you know all that get have to know where to get the food have to have a whole like tables you know chairs so people can sit in you know it takes time for people to recognize your restaurant so you know all that takes time every business takes time you get that in your head because i feel like people think that it's easy that it's fast and when they see you doing good, when they see you up there, they, they think that you just did it quick. Like, it was just like this, that that money just came out, you know, from the sky. You know, it takes time, you guys. It, it, it depends whatever it is. Some things will be easier. Some things will be harder. Um, some things will be easier for you because it's something that you love. And some things will be hard for you because it's not something that you really love, but you're doing it because you're just doing it. You get what I'm trying to say? So yeah, you guys, I'm going to end this video like this. I'm not sure if I mentioned everything. There's obviously different type of ideas. There are hundreds of ideas. People just don't really use their brain. Um, like, I wish I had. <laughs> but let's not talk about that. My point is that there are a lot of things. So if I didn't mention... Ugh.